Heidi, welcome back to the Inside Out Beauty. And in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my first impressions on these three products from Smashbox from the LA Lights line. And these are basically two blushes and one highlighter right here. I'm gonna do swatches. I'm gonna try them on in camera for the very first time and then you're free to follow me around my life while I kind of put yeast to the test throughout my day and see how that goes. If you guys are interested in learning more about these products and my personal opinion about them, all you need to do is stick around and hang out with me for a little while. To start with, these are all Leap and Cheek Blendable Color Sticks. The ones that I have are the Highlight Hollywood and Highlight Malibu Berry. And then finally I got Beverly Hills Blush. So you get a protected cup. As you can see this is a pearly pink type of color. As you twist the stick you slowly start seeing the product coming out like that. I'm always kind of scared of doing this. I feel like it's going to break. So that's as much product as you get. It's a little over a finger of product to give you kind of an idea. 0.17 ounces or uh, five grams of product. So I think that's that seems fairly enough for this type of product. And then you get right here a little sponge. I got these at Sephora.com. Now that said, I checked this morning and this one, the Hollywood and Highlight one, was actually out of stock, but I'm sure it will come back in stock since it's the only highlighter. In case you're wondering, I paid $29 for each one of these and I really hope that they're worth my money. <laughs> just got two of the blushes, but they actually have four shades. I'm gonna do the straightforward application. I'm gonna use the stick, just apply it directly, and I'm gonna use the little sponge that comes on this side to kind of blend it in. And on the right, I'm just gonna use my fingers. So I just thought I might as well try different, different types of applications, see if that has any impact in the product and how it performs. And since we're playing around with these ones, I'm also going to kind of apply uh, the two different shades of blush, one on the right side and one on the left side. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the Malibu Berry on the right. I guess I'm gonna do like this. and then blend it out. I have a feeling that the sponge is kind of removing my foundation and my bronzer and everything as I do this. Um, I think I will apply a little bit more. Now this time instead of just kind of pressed like I would do with a beauty blender, I'm gonna highlight like I would usually do. I would normally apply highlight to the tip of my nose. Because I feel that it kind of lifts it when you highlight it. Then I want to highlight my cupid's bow right there my chin a little bit and next I'm going to go to the higher point of my cheekbone and maybe a little bit on top of my brow and then just blend it in with the sponge I'm going to see if I can put it right there in the inner corner but I think I'm going to have to use my yeah, I'm going to use my finger for that. Like I anticipated it's a very kind of cool toned type of highlighter. Since I'm dry combination sensitive skin, I should also be aware if, if, if I start looking too greasy throughout my day, we will see that as well. Alright, so now I'm going to be applying Beverly Hills Blush on my left side. I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers for this and see if that makes any difference. Mm. 
it feels like when you use your fingers you get a much intense poop a lot more product so uh, probably made a mistake doing it this way I wanted to give you guys a close-up Malibu Berry is a Beverly Hills blush I have to go but you're coming with me here in the balcony with natural light I start to kind of understand a couple of things first I do see a bigger difference between the shades with this lighting I think I'm kind of digging the Malibu berry one the darker one and I also feel like I did a better job using the sponge actually that comes with the pet with these uh, color stick um, that blended it out far better if Beverly Hills shade is much lighter and this one is darker but I'm actually digging it very much it blends in beautifully with the contouring shade and this one is much softer so if you're tanned or if you have a deeper skin tone you may want to try out the uh, Malibu Berry and the Beverly Hills one may be a good option to kind of just dot a little bit here to create that dimension on the cheeks uh, I need to try that but so far I'm understanding more that you do need the little sponge applicator because I didn't do such a great job blending it in with my fingers it could be me or it could be that the sponge is actually worth it and that it actually works so yeah I'm digging this side very much okay so I just went in and applied some of the Beverly Hills blush on my lips because duh this was a lip and cheek product so I didn't apply the Beverly Hills one because if you see the darker shade it usually helps you make things thinner and that usually happens with very dark lipsticks as I have very thin lips it just makes them look even thinner and then for my face if you look it just it looks a little bit more rounded here with the lighter shade of blush but here it kind of accentuates the contouring uh, it's more flattering on this side checking in with you guys in a little bit I don't expect to have much of what I just applied on my lips at the end of today <laughs> look at that I've spent the last couple of hours just sitting here I was writing an article for one of my clients sipping my hot lemon water so I thought I might as well do a quick checking and see how the makeup is doing um, I still like the side, the darker shade, the Malibu Berry better. But clearly, the biggest difference between the two of them you can only see properly on natural light. With this lighting and after a couple of hours, I kind of look a little bit greasy. Um, I did not apply here, so that's probably my fault. So. It's nice, but it looks a little bit crazy in my opinion. So I will continue using this three, but just you guys keep in mind before purchasing that if you have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend it quite frankly. If you have really like dull, dry skin, then this may be the highlighter for you. I think I would only repurchase Malibu Berry. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts for now. Alright guys, so it's almost 8 p.m. I've had this makeup on for the last 10 hours approximately. And here are my final first impressions on the Smashbox LA Lights. These products are a big no-no if you have oily skin. I have combination skin. I have certain days which my skin is super dry and certain days in which my skin is oily. Today I had an oily skin day, I was looking greasy all over, it was not good at all. I think this would be a dream for me for those days in which my skin is super tight and dry. 
So if you have dry skin, by all means, do give these products a go. I really think that I have much better highlights with better shades, like more natural shades than these highlight over here. Even on a very, very dry skin day, I think I can do better with other highlighters that I already own. Um, so I won't be repurchasing this. The shade of Beverly Hills Blush, even though I'm very, very fair, did very little for me. I feel like you can still see a little pop of color here, but it didn't do much. Malibu Berry did a better job. You really cannot expect it to perform that well on the lips. It really just went away the first time I tried to sip a little bit of soda. Uh, you could have an ordinary drugstore lip product do that. I don't even have a stain left. Definitely not gonna be favorites of mine. I will continue using them because like I said I do have certain days in which my skin is super dry and that happens more often than not. So I do expect these to work out really well but I don't see myself repurchasing them. They're just too expensive for what I'm getting. If you were looking to purchase these products, I hope I gave you enough information to make the right decision. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. A lot of videos that are going to be coming up soon and I'm sure you want to be notified when that happens. And I will talk to you all again very soon on my next video. Bye!